All right. Welcome back, Coin Roll Hunters. Thanks for joining me, Matthew the Great, Coin Roll Hunter. We've got another roll out of this $500 box of quarters, and let's get on with the list. Here we go. We're going to be looking for obsolete coinage. Now, these are uh, antique quarter designs from our earliest days. Um, so to give you the rundown, it's going to be anything 1931 and older. Um, technically, it'll be 1930 and older. So uh, those will be our standing Liberty quarters uh, from 1916 to 1930. Uh, our Barber quarters, uh, also known as Liberty headquarters, uh, from 1892 to 1916. And finally, our very first quarters, uh, Liberty Seated. Um, or Seated Liberty, each way, uh, 1838 to 1891. Now, uh, normally you only see these designs in coin shops, but uh, sometimes they wind up in circulation, and they're a lot of fun to find. So you typically got to go through a lot of rolls to find them. But anyway, moving on. Uh, we're going to be looking for silver coinage. Now, these are quarters. These are Washington quarters that uh, have our... Uh, original metal composition from even those uh, obsolete coins, which was 10% copper and 90% silver. Yes, silver, uh, which is what makes them so desirable. So uh, that will be anything 1964 and older. Now, we've also got, uh, I've, I've handpicked uh, a few designs here that express uh, different types of die uh, error coins and die varieties. So on this list, uh, we've got a 2004 uh, Wisconsin quarter that shows a, uh, uh, it could be a die variety of an extra leaf on the corn cob. We've got a 2005 uh, Minnesota that shows uh, what's called double dying as uh, floating trees along the uh, tree line. We've got a 2005 Kansas uh, quarter, state quarter, that shows what's called a filled die, which uh, the letter T in trust on the obverse side of the coin was filled with grease and uh, had a weak strike. And so it says, in God we rust. So a uh, pretty cool one there we're still looking for. Uh, a 1999 Delaware, which uh, shows some die cracks around the horse's mouth, and uh, this variety is called the spitting horse. Um, or error coin rather. Uh, the 2008 Arizona shows a die breaking. Uh, it's called a die break, which uh, expresses as extra cactus leaves in the design, as well as a 2006 Colorado cud error, which is uh, when a die crack forms along the rim and uh, breaks and uh, along the edge of the coin, along the rim of the coin, into this kind of like lump of metal. So uh, some really interesting stuff to find in the uh, 50 state quarters program, as well as some birds. Now, in the 50 state quarter program, uh, birds are the most commonly used uh, symbol on uh, the designs. And so uh, we've already been doing a lot of birding in the 50 state quarter program. And there's only two we have left to find, uh, Maine, and California. So uh, we're going to be keeping our eyes out for those two quarters. Now, uh, I can, I've left a link below for the full list you can check out uh, at the beginning of this series, but I think I've gone on long enough. You've probably just skipped forward to this part if you're familiar with the series already, and that's okay. If you're new to the series and you're just watching, make sure you subscribe and then hit that bell next to the subscribe button because we're doing videos every day and you're not going to want to miss one. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So uh, the first thing we do is check the enders. Uh, that looks pretty new to me. Oh, that's definitely a new. That one's from the America the Beautiful series uh, program that's come out, in which we're currently in, uh, as a matter of fact, in 2017. So no uh, obsolete coins or uh, silver on the enders, which means we're going to fillet this coin roll open and take a look at the edges. Now what we're looking for here is uh, light gray to black toning and smooth edges. Now this will be uh, a solid coin, the 90% silver coins. And what do we have here? 
That's just a collab. That's a 1994. So the smooth edges kind of get me sometimes. But the other thing you can look for is, uh, here's a good example. The, the modern day coins are clad coins. That's a uh, copper sandwich between two nickel layers. And so they're usually pretty easy to spot on the edges. But uh, these new quarters <laughs> from like the 50 state program, or uh, the edges are kind of wrapped with nickel. So it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, unfortunately, it does not look like we have any silver or obsolete coins in this roll. Which leaves us looking for some uh, die varieties and uh, birds. So uh, here's our first chance for a die variety. Um, so Minnesota not only has a, a bird, that's the loon, but uh, it's got uh, this tree line here. And we want to look for any floating trees. And this will be an example of a double die. And that's what happens when uh, the die uh, rotates slightly and tilts um, during the second stamp of the uh, impression of the coin. That one, unfortunately, did not have any double die features. So, uh, Alabama, interesting. So, uh, the other thing that's kind of fun to do is if you're watching this, uh, shout out your birth date. Uh, your birth year, if you see it come across the screen. Um, here we go. Here's Arkansas. That right there is a mallard. That's on our birding list. I'll leave a link below to the uh, big money video that we did on the mallard in Arkansas, 1977, if you're born then. Uh, here we go. Hawaii. Another Arkansas mallard. That's two of them. So uh, pretty good on our birding. All right, so here's our uh, first opportunity for another error coin in Arizona. Um, these die breaks will express themselves above the date there and below the saguaro cactus where you see the artist initials. So uh, they're pretty obvious. They're going to cut into that date. And uh, so unfortunately, this is not one of our uh, die break varieties here. So we'll just continue on. Okay, South Carolina, that's the Carolina Wren. I'll leave a link below to that video as well as we continue our birding in the 50 state quarters program. So hopefully you've been enjoying some uh, numismatic information uh, as we continue through there so we're not completely stumped. But uh, all right, so nothing in the uh, first half of this roll. Okay, so moving on to the second half. Here we go, 1985, all right, 2014, it's a pretty old one, 1990, okay, Utah, 2007, uh, 1965, one more year earlier and we would have had silver, so that's about the oldest coin we've come across. Now we're also, uh, here's another Carolina Wren, so uh, stay tuned for that one. 1965, so we got some older coins in here. 87, sometimes they're not readily obvious. Nevada, 2006, 95, 91, 90, pretty old coins in here. North Dakota, 2006, all right. California, that one is on our birding list. Okay. So uh, this is excellent. Uh, so we needed uh, Maine and California to complete our birding list, and we're one step closer. So I'm going to set this coin aside, and we're going to cover this coin in big money tomorrow. So you want to make sure you join us for that one. And finally, we've just got a few extra coins left. And this is the last one. All right. So big winner here is the uh, California coin. We're going to find out uh, what bird that is. And then uh, we'll also cover some of these other features in the design and uh, who designed it. So uh, some really cool numismatic information for you um, just to expand your knowledge uh, about how interesting this hobby can be. So next time you receive this quarter in your change, you're going to know a little bit more about it. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, your time to, our time together. Uh, thank you for joining me, Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, and we're going to see you tomorrow uh, on Big Money. So uh, happy hunting.